Good morning, horse race enthusiasts. This is John uh, coming to you Sunday morning. Uh, we're on the road, so kind of different location and going to have to ham and egg this a little bit today. But I did want to reach out to you. I got two, two or three different things I want to cover. Uh, <clears throat> the first was the Haskell. And the race kind of unfolded very curiously, but much like how I thought it would unfold with one exception, and that was a very key exception. So what we had is um, Arabian uh, Nights, um, you know, had the speed, but didn't count on the two being the inside speed. I thought the one go rocket ride uh, was going to be the inside speed and contend with uh, Arabian Nights and um, Arabian Night. And... Um, you know, and put pressure on Arabian Night. And um, what happened was the two did that work. So really what we saw in that race is Arabian Night struggled to get the lead, wore themselves out. The, the, the eight and the two fell back. And the one who rated pretty well, you know, um, came through very strong. And Mays just didn't have it. It didn't look like he had it coming down the stretch. And maybe it was a case of running too wide or, um, you know, maybe just, uh, you know, was a little bit out of training. So um, we'll see what happens at the Traverse. But I would expect to see both those horses, the first and second place horse of um, the Haskell to be at the Traverse uh, later in the uh, year. So uh, the second one is, and I'm gonna do try to do a better video on this, but I'm kind of disappointed at the last race at Saratoga yesterday because I think we left some money on the table. And in particular, I wanted to call out this, this sort of, um, angle for handicapping that I think is uh, pretty worthwhile. So, you know, if you watch that race again, you'll see that the 11 St. Shelby or Selby uh, won. And one of the angles that I always like to find when I'm looking for long shots, right, because this was a pretty decent long shot. The morning line was 15 to 1, and I think it went off thereabouts or maybe even a little bit better. But um, what you'll see is if you look at the this angle, I love and I'm just so uh, disappointed that I missed it. But you'll see about... Um, I don't know four or five races back this this horse was running at this caliber race the caliber race of yesterday's with speed figures in the 90s um, the average was 89 right so that's the buyer part that means the average horse that wins this race runs an 89 right on this track um, and you see that this horse ran 90 92 92 in that six furlongs and with uh, the same jockey that they had this time around. I mean, all the angles are right there. We just missed it. And when this was a pretty good pay, it was like a $25 payer, I'm thinking offhand, if I remember correctly. So I was really disappointed with that. Um, these are the angles that you see, because like, let's go back and, and say, these owners want to win here. And Bob, uh, Rob Atris, 20% uh, uh, trainer, uh, you put Kamuch on him, which he was, uh, another 23%. So. I just I just left me with a feeling that you know we left a little something on the table there, so um, just remember that angle. That's and, and the quickest way to do it is there is a box in the upper left hand corner. It's kind of the box to the left of the upper right hand corner, excuse me, of the daily racing form. And what you'll see under where it says life, you'll see like this horse in particular ran eleven times, four wins, you know, one second, one third. He won $276,000 and then had a that 92 right there that you see to the uh, to the right there. That means that's the highest speed figure that it received for this race, right? So this type of race. So, I mean, all the signals were there. We should have had that. And uh, I, I, I'm i kicking myself. I think I, I uh, woke up in the middle of the night and saying, I, you know, I think I remember that. Let me look. And I looked this morning and I was like, ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. So anyhow. Um, one to learn from, but let's let's take that and go to today's racing, right? I don't have the names with me, but I just want to call you out. You'll see in the comment section again. Um, you, what you'll see is um, I'll, I'll list the picks in, in, um, in the comment section after this video is posted, and then I'll do the long shots. But I want to call your attention to the fifth race and the seventh race, and in both races, I like the seven, and I'm seeing a similar angle as I just described. So the fifth race, the seven, uh, is a three, two zone. And then in the seventh race, the seven is glory road. And I see that those are two long shots that, you know, show the pattern that we just described. Um, and uh, let's see if we can, um, you know, catch lightning in a bottle as they say. So 
Um, there we go. The quick, quick little video today. We got a lot of stuff going on. I have handicapped the entire card today at Saratoga, um, and I threw out those picks again. It's the seven and the fifth, and the seven and the seventh. So good, ra good luck with racing enthusiasts. I look forward to speaking to you soon, and um, you know, good luck today at the races. Thanks.